Hi. Paul from Fair is our first cocktail of the month. We'll be introducing you to uh, our signature espresso martini. Very trendy right now. We'll be uh, making it with Fair Vodka, which is our uh, original product made out of quinoa. Uh, you all know quinoa now. You know, it's a uh, beautiful grain. The liquid is incredibly smooth. It's got nice little flavors. Um, really uh, works really well for that type of cocktail. Um, along with uh, my uh, favorite product of the range, Fair Café Liqueur, made with Arabica coffee beans from Mexico. Uh, the product has an incredible balance, smells like fresh roasted coffee beans and tastes like an alcoholic espresso. You will see the balance between the flavors are incredible, um, obviously with a little touch of coffee. But Kevin here with us today is going to tell you a bit more about exactly how to make it, all the technique, the shaking and the measures. Up to you. Hello guys, so as Paul just said, we're going to be making an espresso martini. It's a pretty straightforward drink, actually been invented in London, so making it again in London is a really good touch. So you are going to start by doing your coffee. Uh, you need to use the fresh coffee if you want to have the highest quality possible. So we're going to be using espresso, fresh espresso here. That's the best you can have. But if you do not have an espresso machine or a coffee shop around the corner, um, I would recommend you a cold brew and last resort, a filtered coffee. But just so you know, the quality is not going to be the same if you use filtered coffee. Um, so we're going to be using fair quinoa start with. So we're going to use 35 millimeters of uh, quinoa. Following with our coffee liquor and as I said it is very good coffee liquor. It's not saying that because it's the brand. It is actually pretty amazing. I've been working with a lot of different coffee liquors over the years and this is one of my favorites. If not the favorite. It's really good stuff. We're gonna use 25 millimeters of that baby. And then, as we mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna use really good coffee. So why are we using 25 millimeters? Uh, you want to keep the balance slightly up unusually because this coffee liquor is a very good quality. So you want to use a bit more of the liquor than the coffee. The regular uh, recipe you can find on the internet is going to be recommending equal parts. Uh, if you do use that liquor, you want to use it slightly more than your coffee, even if you use a really good coffee. Because it brings the quality really to your drink. Um, so once you put all of the ingredients together, we're going to be going to the fun part, the shaking. Uh, any drink you want to froth with a nice foam on top, you want to shake really hard, so it's a good one here too. Uh, you see a lot of bars shaking only for like a couple of seconds. Don't be shy, you want to froth your drink. Shake it for a good 5 seconds minimum. Uh, better to do a good 10 seconds shaking. You'll see as soon as I start pouring, the texture is amazing. Something really silky, creamy and smooth. You want to go all the way to the top of your glass, don't be shy. The foam is not gonna pour. So we've got an expert right here. I'm not gonna have the first sip. He will. Sounds good. And I'm already Exciting. shaking. Public members, cheers to you. Oh yeah, the party started. Good. Let's see if I'm proud of my own. Beautiful drink. Well done, Kevin. Well, here it is. The first martini. <laughs> 